Welcome to another edition of Capital Jazz TV. We are about to have a whole lot of fun because I'm talking to my sister right now. By the way, this is the 28th annual edition of the Capital Jazz Fest 2021. Of course, I'm joined by my girl, my sister, the incomparable Layla Hi. Hathaway. Glad to be here. How did it feel? It felt great. Yeah. It's wonderful to just be outside, yeah. period. Felt good. How long has it been? I mean, of course, is this your first show back? No, since? this is probably the third show back. Wow. Yeah. Um, first show in this part of the country, which mm -hmm. is different than shows in other parts of the country. Sure. And so it was good. It what was did good. you miss the most? I just missed the people. I just missed yeah. seeing the people's faces and really having that conversation with them mm -hmm. musically. You missed the energy of the audience. All of it. And all of it. All of that. Yeah. Yeah. So what was COVID like for you? Quiet and. Yeah. Relaxing. Did you discover any new things about yourself? Yes, I did. <laughs> Through uh, many hours of therapy and television, I discovered a whole lot about myself. I discovered a whole lot about my friends. Uh -huh. We kind of connected in a different way than really? we have been in the last recent years. Yeah. Um, I, there, some of my friends are not my friends anymore. Wow. So we just all came through this wormhole together, and I'm glad I made it out. Was that tough to let some people go? No, not at all. Yeah. Wow, you just say that like, hey, you're out, that's you it. You know, um, thing, seasons, reasons. Sure, of course. You know, totally with, with love for everyone. Yeah. So new music, did you yeah. do any new music while? I'm almost done with my album. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about it. Um, well, the record is, is tentatively titled Vanta Black, mm -hmm. uh, which is a color which is like the blackest black there is. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the, I'm looking through things with that lens at this moment in my life. Wow. And that record is about kind of the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. You sound like you're in a different place right now. I don't know how different it is. I think I'm in the same place. I'm just a little more awake mm -hmm. than I might have been. Mm -hmm. um, a little more wanting to put that energy into the art. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Anything different about the album from the past albums? Sure. They're all different. Okay. So what's, <laughs> what's, what's more different about... You know, I think I think that this album, and I always say this, people say, what's different about this album than the last one? Yeah. Time. Mm. You know, there was a lot of time for this one to marinate, and this is where we are right now today. Sure. Um, so I'm still the same me. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, you know, I, 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 my intent is to be the greatest of all time. Wow. And so I'm always working toward that. Yeah. Well, you're going to hit that. Thank I you. mean, you just spoke that thing, so you're speaking mm -hmm. it into existence right now. Let's talk about your Grammys. Tell me about the story when you won the first Grammy. What was that? The story of the first that Grammy. moment for you. The story of the first Grammy was a song that I recorded first at 19 or 20, called mm -hmm. It Something, mm -hmm. written by Brenda Russell mm -hmm. and David Foster. Mm -hmm. uh, re-recorded that song and then re-recorded it with a band called Snarky Puppy and, and a new arrangement. And um, that was our first Grammy. That yeah. was my first Grammy. The moment for you, though. The what moment. was that? Yeah. It's hard to describe. Sometimes I look at my watch um, when I'm excited and look at my, my heartbeats per minute. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, right before they called my name, my heart was at 168 beats per I'm minute. I'm sure. So it is a moment that is crystallized on camera and I can look at it and feel the same way every time. Yeah. I could never tell you what it feels like. It's such wow. a rush of, wow. Yeah. You know, such a blessing. And I'm sure that's something that every musical artist just really kind of strives for. I hope to so. To hit that point, to I get that so. Grammy. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's funny. I, I, I have five Grammys now, mm -hmm. which is nothing to, you know, that's a, it's a big deal. That is. You know what I want? An NAACP award and a Soul Train award. Okay. And an Essence award. Okay. You know? Yeah. Um, I'm looking for those. I'm yeah. looking for those. I love my Grammys. From the blackness. Absolutely. Yeah. From my folks. Okay. That's who I create for us. Well, for you us. know, we, we always love having you here. You Thank know, you're you. our Capital Jazz royalty. Thank you. Um, I mean, it's year after year. I don't know how many years has it been now. It's I don't goodness. know. It's many. Because you've done the fest over and over. You've done the, the cruise, cruise over and over. Oh, gosh. Yeah. It's been, it's been, yeah, it's, there have been a few. I mean, it's, it's actually just because of your talent, your gift, man. We just continue to bring you back and back Thank again. You. The crowd just loves you. We Thank love you. you. I so love them. we look forward to many more years. Thank you. How can all your fans stay in touch? I'm and still in the same places. I got the same <laughs> phone number as the last time I saw y'all. <laughs> nothing changed. <laughs> still, all the socials, Layla Hathaway, L A L A H. Yeah. That's Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. Yeah. 
Facebook, yeah. all of them. Well, we look forward to seeing you back again. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, the incomparable, the one, the only, Layla Hathaway. I'm Tony Richards for this edition of Capital Jazz TV.